Today, grade 9 students, so we are on the part 2 of our video lesson for this week. So on this video, I'm going to discuss on how you're going to answer all the learning tasks, engagement, and the assessment part of the learner's pocket for this week. So on the first video, I was able to discuss on how you're going to use the LOP sign. So let's answer now all the eight learning tasks. So on the first learning task, so you are going to apply the LOP sign to solve the following problems. So round to the nearest hundred. So the first decimal places. So the first thing that we are going to do is to draw these triangles and identify their missing parts. So I'm going to solve already number one, including the illustration and the missing parts, the angles and the sides. Now I'm just going to show the missing angles and the missing sides for numbers 2 and 3. I'm just going to illustrate and it's up to you for you to answer the other numbers. So let's start. So this is how you're going to illustrate number 1 with triangle M and P. So you're given with angle N, angle P, and your side M. Okay, so the first thing that we can solve on this right triangle is its missing angle. Since our given here are two angles. So for us to find this angle M, we have to subtract this from 180 degrees. So if we're going to solve that, your angle M will be equivalent to 180 minus 125 minus 35. So that means the value of your angle M is 20 degrees. Okay, so that's for our angle M. So if we're going to solve that, this is already 20 degrees. Now, how are we going to solve now for other missing side, which is side N and side P? So we can use now your law of sine. So we start with... Uh, the value with the same given or with the given angle and side. So we have here your side 12 with its angle 20. Again, so ito yung magkatapat. So that's where we're going to start. So let's start. So that's 12 over sine. The given is 20 degrees. So yung magkakatapat lang po. Then we have here your N over sine 125 is equal to yung P. We have P over your sine 35 degrees. So to solve that, okay, we're going to use the proportion of each part. So let's start with solving N. Okay, natin. So, let's start with solving N. So, that's 12 over sine, 120, sine 20 is equal to N over sine 125. By cross multiplication, we're going to have the value of N, which is equal to 12 times sine 125 or sine 125 degrees over sine, 100, sine 20 degrees. So, again, Using your calculator, just input the following. So, 12 times sine 125 all over sine 20 degrees. And if you're going to compute that, you're going to have an answer of 28.74. That's the nearest hundreds. Next, if we're going to compute for P, so we're going to use again your 12 over sine 20 degrees is equal to P now, P over sine 35 degrees. Then, by cross multiplication again, we're going to have 12 times, or your P is equal to 12 times sine 35 all over sine 20 degrees. Now, again, using your calculator, just input 12 times sine 35 divided by sine 20 degrees. And what you're going to have is 20.12. So you have here, your angle M is 20 degrees. 
your side N is 28.74, and your side P is 20.12. Let's proceed with number 2. This is how you're going to illustrate number 2 with angle A, side B, and your side A. So again, let's identify first. You're given, so the unknown here is your side C, side C, then your angle B, and angle C. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you which are you, uh, what are you going to solve first. So since this is two side and one angle, let's identify the given angle. Your given angle is acute. Okay, so since this one is acute angle, Angle A is acute. Then, we're going to identify your side. So, the opposite side is 39. It's then the 42. So, 39 is less than 42. So, yung opposite side niya. So, 39 is less than 42. So, since it's less than, you have to compute first for the height. So, how are we going? So, you're going to compare this with 42 sine 63 degrees. Then, you have to identify if you're going to have, uh, if it is less than or greater than. Now, if the value is less than, no need to compute. So, there will be no solution if it is less than. Now, if it is greater than, you're going to have two solutions here. So, kindly go back to our video on the part one for you to identify on how you're going to answer if it is two solutions. So, that's how you're going to answer number two. So, the first thing that you can solve this depends if there will be no solution or two solution. Kapag two solutions, the first thing that you can solve here is your angle B. Okay? So, using your law of sine, which is A over sine A, you're given with A, and then your angle A, and then your side B over sine B. Then, cross multiply, then your shift of sine for you to solve your missing angle. Now, here's how you're going to illustrate number three. So, again, you're given with two sides and one angle. This is another SSA. So, let's identify again your angle. Angle E is, again, an acute angle. So, since it's an acute, let's identify the side. So, this one is the opposite side of E, which is 16. And then we have, again, your 10. If we are going to compare 16 is greater than 10. So, it's automatic. You're going to have one solution. No need for you to find the height for you to identify if there will be one or two solutions. Since the opposite side is greater than the other side, there will be one solution here. Now, the first side that you can solve here, or the first part that you can solve here is your angle. So, you can solve it using this one, using this solution. So, you're going to have 16 over sine E, or which is your sine 35. Let's answer, so sine 35 is equal to your 10 over sine F. Okay, so just cross multiply. Then, for you to identify, so you're going to have 10 times sine 35 divided by 16. And then, the inverse function of sine for you to find your angle F. Now, to identify your angle G, you just need to subtract it from 180. 180 minus 35 minus your computed F. Then, for you to find your G, so, again, go back to your 16 over sine 35. And then, now you're going to have G over sine your computed value of G. Then, cross multiply again for you to solve the value of side G. And the next part is the assessment. So, for the assessment, you have here... Uh, 
first part, you have your given uh, triangles. And then your second part, you have to draw first. So I'm going to answer again the numbers one of each part. So let me identify now na lang yung sa 2 and 3. So number one, we're given with two angles and one side. So we're going to solve first the missing angle here and then the missing side. So number two and number three. Ayan, number 2 is also 2 angles and 1 side. So, 2 angles. So, that's 25 and 130 and 1 given side. So, the first thing that you can solve here is your angle B. Subtract lang po. So, 180 minus 25 minus 130 to find angle B. Then, using law of sine, you can find or solve for side C and side A. Just follow on how I'm going to answer number 1. Then, number 2, you're given with... um. One angle and then two sides. So, let's identify first. So, angle, your given angle, this is A. Your angle A is acute. So, since it's acute, let's identify the side. So, the opposite side here is 7. And then the other one is 5. Okay. So, since the opposite side is greater than the other side, so, automatic, there will be one solution here. Okay. Just follow on how I solve the previous slide, yung kanina na number uh, 3. On how you're going to solve number 3, that's also how you're going to solve number 3 on assessment. Then, so letter B, so let's draw first yung number 2. Because I'm going to explain naman yung number 1. So, number 2, we're given with triangle ABC again. That's A, B, C. So, your angle A is 32. Then you have your angle C, which is 40. Then you're given with side B, which is 15. Okay. So to solve this one, just follow on how I'm going to solve you a given two angles and one side. So the first thing that you can solve here is the missing angle B. And then just solve, uh, solve this by subtracting it by 180 to find angle B. And if you already have angle B, you can already use your law of sine to find your side C and side A. So let's proceed. So I'm going to answer numbers 1 of A and B. So here, so the first thing that we can solve here, since we're given with two angles, in one side, let's identify first the missing angle. Again, if the missing is, uh, the given are two angles and one side, the first thing that you can solve is the missing angle. So to solve angle B, subtract it from 180. So minus 50 minus 30. So the value of your angle B here is 180 minus 50 minus 30 is 100 degrees. So, angle B is already 100 degrees. Then, to solve our missing side, let's use our law of sine. Let's start with the given, with uh, yung pareho given yung side at saka yung uh, kanyang opposite angle. So, let's start with 8 and 30. So, that will be 8 over sine of the angle, which is 30 degrees, is equal to the unknown. So, A over sine I A. So that's A over sine 50 degrees is equal to B over sine 100 degrees. So let's solve first for our side A. So using cross multiplication. So let's cross multiply this. So the value of your A will be 8 times sine 50 all over sine 30 degrees. So, the value of our A, using your calculator, so 8 times your sine 50 degrees equals, then divide it by sine 30 degrees. So, the value of your side A is 12.26. Now, let's proceed on identifying or solving your side B. So, let's start again with your 8 over sine 30 is equal to B over sine 100. So, by cross multiplication, the value of our B will be equivalent to 8 
times your sine 100 divided by your sine 30 degrees. Now, by using again your calculator, the value that we are going to have is 15.76. Okay, so that's how you're going to answer number 1. Let's have the letter B number 1. So let's draw first letter B number 1. So let's have a triangle ABC. So your triangle ABC. And this triangle, triangle, your angle A is 68 degrees. Then your side A, the opposite side is 21. And then the other side, which is B, is 12. And then our unknown, our angles C, B, and side C. So let's identify first our given. So looking at our given, your angle A is acute. Then since it's acute, let's go to its opposite side. The opposite side here is 21. And then the other side is 12. Now we can see that 21 is greater than 12. So since it's greater than, we're going to have one solution. Okay, now to solve this, let's have first this 2. So that's going to be 21 over sine 68. And then our other side, which is 12. And then its opposite angle is B. So we're going to have 12 over sine B. Then, by cross multiplication, we're going to have 21 sine B is equal to 12 times sine 68. Dividing both sides by 21, we're going to have sine B is equal to 12 times sine 68 over 21. So, multiply. 12 and sine 68 divided by 21. And then, get its second function or the inverse function to get the value of your angle. Again, 12 times sine 68 divided by 21. And then, get the inverse function. So, the value of your angle B is 31.99. Okay, that's for your angle B. Now, let's solve for your C. So, to solve for C, we just simply subtract it from 180. So, 180 minus 68 minus 31.99. So, that means your angle C is 80.01 degrees. So, this one is also in degrees. Now, to identify or find your side C, again, we're going to use our law of sine. So, let's start again with your 12. Okay, let's have a line. So, 12 over sine 68 is equal to our side C over sine. Our angle C is 80.01. So, by cross multiplication, your side C will be equivalent to 12 times your sine 80.01 divided by sine 68. Again, using your calculator, just multiply 12 and sine 80.01 divided by sine 68. So, the answer is 22.31. So, this is how you're going to answer also the other uh, examples or the other learning tasks. If you're given is one angle and two sides, and if that angle is acute and the opposite side is greater than the other given side. So... you do understand how we're going to answer using your law of sign on how we're going to identify the parts of our oblique triangles using our law of sign. So I hope we're going to see you again next week for our law of cosine. So that's all. Thank you and God bless.